Today's video, I want to talk about a beat sale I made yesterday, and I'm talking about this one specifically, a $60 Premium Plus license sale. Now, you might be asking, Joe, why is this special? Why is this more important than the other beat sale that you make on the channel? Well, there is something about this beat sale which has been a year in the making, a strategy that I implemented over a year ago to this day, which has led to this exact beat sale right here. And of course, I'm going to branch out on what I mean by that. The quick disclaimer I want to make for this video this is the sort of long-term strategy which means that you have to have been beat selling for this video to be worthwhile for you so if you're new to beat selling you may not find this video helpful now but trust me once you have been beat selling for up to six months to a year two years you will realize that this is something that you need to be doing as well so stick around to this video because there's some really helpful information long term that you need to know if you're new to beat selling and if you're someone who has been selling beats for a while then this might help you if you're not doing this already so smash that subscribe button right now now, if you are new to the channel, it's the best way to support the channel if you enjoy these sorts of videos. But with that manager out of the way, let's talk about this beat sale and why it is so important. Okay, Joe, spit it out. Why is this $60 beat sale so important? Well, I won't keep you waiting any longer. I'm gonna tell you why it's so important. Basically, this beat sale happened after an exchange with a customer talking about this beat specifically and a premium plus license they wanted to purchase. We actually discussed the fact that they actually didn't want to pay $90 is what I charge now for my beat sale. They only had a budget of $60, but they wanted the stems. To put it really simply, after a negotiation, I decided that I could offer the beat to them for $60. Well, you might be thinking to yourself, Joe, you have just lost a potential 30 extra dollars on that beat sale. Well, actually, no, I haven't, and I'll explain to you why. There is a couple of different things here which is vitally important for my business in what happened in dealing with this transaction. So the first thing I want to talk about is why I'm happy that I sold a beat for $30 less than it's listed for. And we're talking about this long-term strategy that I implemented. Now, this strategy that I'm talking about is very simple, and I wouldn't even really class it as a strategy, but it's definitely something that you should be doing if you've been a beat maker for the past year, two year, or five year. And that is raising the prices of your beats on a consistent basis. Now, there's two fundamental reasons why you want to raise your prices. The first one is because inflation, things get more expensive over time. And as well as everything getting expensive around you, so should your beats. Your beats should be matching the current rise of inflation. I'm not saying you have to know all the ins and outs of what inflation is and how it works but it's the same premise that over time you notice things like chocolate bars get more expensive over time food in general gets more expensive over time housing prices get more expensive over time that is just the nature of money and it should be the same for your beat selling you should be wanting to raise your prices every so often now i don't want you to worry about if you raise your prices you're worried you might not get as many beat sales because that ties perfectly into reason two why you should raise your prices and that is adding value to your services and your skills the behaviors and demographics of the sort of customers you get can actually be a direct correlation to how much you're setting your prices for your beats. If you think about it, people who want to spend a decent amount of money on beats are going to be willing to pay higher prices. Now, the only thing that you have to match is your skill and your skill is value. And you should value yourself to a certain standard throughout your career. You might be getting better over time. And as you get a better producer, you're releasing more beats and the beats that you release are getting better as well. So why shouldn't you charge more? Because your skills are getting better. You're honing in your craft. So your skill is worth more in terms of value. If you put really cheap prices on your beats, you're only going to be attracting the beat buyers who want to not spend a lot of money on beats. That's just the nature of money and the consumer. So if you want to make bigger transactions, you want to make more money selling beats, you shouldn't always think about, well, do I go for the quantity over quality, uploading loads of beats and setting it at a really low price, setting like a $5 lease? No, you shouldn't do that because you're only going to be targeting people who want to pay $5 for a beat. And the beautiful thing about raising your prices as well correlates exactly to, again, this $60 beat sale that I make. Because when I first started selling beats a year ago, I was charging only $50 for a premium plus license. I was happy just to get a premium plus license for $50. But because over the course of the year, I have been raising my prices gradually and gradually. We're now at a stage where I'm making premium plus sales for $90. When backtrack a year, I couldn't even sell a premium plus for $50. I couldn't even sell an unlimited for $80. That's what it was at the time. So yes, even though currently the value value of my premium plus is $90 and I've sold this for $30 less for $60. Actually, it's $10 more than when I first started selling beats. And there's another really amazing thing about how this transaction has come about because I've really highly honed in on the customer experience and providing really good customer service and making the artist, in this case, who bought the beat, feel valued. The whole principle about me selling beats is I always 
wanted it to be affordable for artists and I always wanted to help artists release music. That is the message behind my beat store. I want independent artists to be able to release music on a budget. So of course, I'm gonna try and help them in the best way I can. So when this person reached out to me and said they only had $60, what I did was say, I can offer them the Premium Plus license of $60 instead of $90. Not only do they really appreciate that I've lowered the price, but they also appreciate it so much that that starts to build trust and loyalty with them. So they're most likely to come back to you again if they want to buy Beats because they know that you provide really good customer service and you're wanting to help them and you're on their side. This isn't me being fake, this is just business. This is how it works. If you want to build a loyal following and loyal customers, you have to treat them with the respect that they want. Obviously there is a fine line from someone who wants a little bit off because of their budget and someone wants to take the piss. Let me give you an example. Last week, someone sent me a custom offer for an exclusive of one of my Beats, which I normally value at $250 and they offered 40, which is less than three of the licenses that I provide. And when someone does that, I think, what are you doing? That's just silly. Of course, I'm not going to do that. But that's when you can start negotiating. But you see, even though this $60 is just one beat sale in many that I have done this year so far, it is paramountly important because what I've been implementing, strategizing over the past year in terms of my pricing has led me to be able to negotiate a price, make a customer happy, feel valued and feel like I've tried to help them out and hopefully get them back again buying more beats in the future. And I've still managed to sell this beat license for $10 more than when I started, which if I sold that beat a year ago, I would be absolutely ecstatic. So I have to be happy for myself now because we've come a long way since then, obviously. So yeah, that's why I wanted to make this video today because even though it doesn't seem like the most obvious or complicated long-term strategy, and you might think is not worth it, I highly recommend that you should be doing this now. So again, if you are new to beat selling, I wouldn't worry about raising your prices just yet because you're not ready, but keep this video in mind because when you've been selling beats for six months, you want to raise your prices because not only do you need to value your skill a lot more, but when it comes to transactions like this in the long term, you will get bigger beat sales, which means you'll earn more money for selling less amount of beats. And for those of you who have been selling beats long term, you haven't raised your prices yet, you really, really need to. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that subscribe button if you did. Keep making music and I will see you in the next video.